Hello, my dear friends. Today we're gonna talk about this thing. This is iPad Pro 2020. In this video, I will try to show you some features where it can be useful. This is my approach, my workflow with the iPad, but it may help you. As you know, I have done a lot of different video tutorials where I used more or less this thing. My last video was about the Revit and iPad workflow. If you haven't seen my previous video, please check it out. This is on my channel. We have done the laser scanner, as you can see right now here, and we exported to the Revit. Maybe it will be interesting for you. So today you will see my overview of this device and workflow. I will show you how I'm using it in my main job. If you are new in my channel, my name is Nimbo. I am head of the beam department uh, with the architect background. And today you will see how I'm using it in my work. Here's the some topics which I found for you. Here is the task management, here is the working with the graphics, here is 3D modeling and scanning. Yeah, even the scanning, why not? And of course the notebooks. Yeah, we using the iPad also for some ideas where you can writing, some drawing your ideas. So this is like a paper notebook, why not? You can use your own iPad. So, let's start. iPad that a tablet that is by power closer to notebook than to the mobile device. I have an iPad 11 inch 2020 with 256 GB storage. That model pretty enough for my task. I no need a big screen and I no need a lot of storage. Nowadays we using a lot cloud storage. That the reason why. For the iPad I have an Apple Pencil, that nice thing, but it's optionally, you can draw or work easily without it. Also I have a keyboard and mouse from the Logitech, that two devices transforming my iPad into a notebook, that fully wireless and a much cheaper variant than Apple Magic Keyboard. And the most important device for the my iPad is the cover. This cover helps hold my device safe and clean. So this was small introduction, now let's check what is the iPad can do. Task management is one of the main part of my work. I have my beam squad and I need to control them all day. The trailer helping me to do it efficiently. Yes, we have a lot of different task management apps on the market, but Trello is my choice for now. If you want to know more about it, let me know in the comments. So in Trello I can immediately see what and who doing right now. As you understand from this information, I can easily schedule tasks for the BIM department. iPad helps me a lot. I can check all tasks for today with a few clicks. Trello is synchronizing fast and you no need be worry about the task and changes in this app. And the most nice thing Trello is the free. Of course you can buy some extensions. Yeah, you can buy even extensions from Trello. It's possible you can write it by some codes, your own extension and it will Now let's talk about 2D graphics, especially we will talk about the drawings. For the iPad you can find a lot of drawing apps. The best thing about the iPad that you no need a drawing pad because you have it. To achieve the best result you need only an Apple Pencil. Here you can fast draw some of your ideas and share with them. I'm using the Procreate for this task. As you can see, it's like a Photoshop for iPad. That really powerful app. Just check it and you will see it. Another 2D drawing app is from our lovely Autodesk. The app has such a unique name, Sketchbook. From the name we clearly understand what is this app. It's such a good when I need to draw some my ideas really fast. Like a previous one, there we have the same settings, but this app better if you are an architect or some engineer profession. Otherwise, it's not so good if you are an artist because you don't have a lot of the possibilities like a Procreate for the artist. Now is king of the kings, Photoshop. Yes, it's not a demo version, it's the same Photoshop as on your PC or Mac. That app not for free, but if you have been subscribed, you no need pay for it twice. I think I no need to explain why I'm using the Photoshop. Everyone, if even they never use it, know the name Photoshop.
And yes, I'm using the iPad for notes too. I have found the app Good Notes. It's really powerful. That app can work with PDF and PNG. You can have a few notebooks in just one app. For example, one for ideas, one for work and another one for example for the sketches or something else. That app also has a presentation mode. Apple provides their own free note app, but it doesn't good enough for me. I found the good notes more useful for my tasks. Sometimes you need to draw in 3D. iPad can do it. It's enough power to draw even in 3D. The app it's calling Sharp 3D is like a SketchUp or Rhino 3D on your tablet. You're able to do everything, extrude, union, noobs creation geometry just on your tablet. Of course, when you finish the modeling, it's possible to export it. Sharper 3D supports a lot of different formats and it's possible even import some formats on your tablet. I hope on one day it will be possible working in Blender in my iPad. Beam 360 design is a cloud work, work sharing design collaboration and also data management product for the project delivery. It's including controlling cloud point work sharing in Revit, document management and also design collaborate module. In the construction industry we have found that using iPads has become extremely useful. Tablets are quickly becoming the standard way to construct building in our new BIM environment. As the tablets get more sophisticated, our process becoming more complex, but our job performance becoming more critical. Projects are on a fast track. By a path you extremely fast can connect to the actual model and check it out. Is it right or you can make some, for example, issues or maybe you can even make the review. By iPad you can do it anywhere and immediately. For example, on the construction site, if you found something wrong, some collision, you can fastly making the issue and send it to the architect or the engineer. Beam 360 design is a cloud work, work sharing design collaboration and also data management product for the project delivery. It's including controlling cloud point work sharing in Revit, document management and also design collaborate model. In the construction industry we have found that using iPads has become extremely useful. Tablets are quickly becoming the standard way to construct building in our new BIM environment. As the tablets get more sophisticated, our process becoming more complex, but our job performance becoming more critical. Projects are on a fast track. By a path you extremely fast can connect to the actual model and check it out. Is it right or you can make some, for example, issues or maybe you can even make the review. By iPad you can do it anywhere and immediately. For example, on the construction site, if you found something wrong, some collision, you can fastly making the issue and send it to the architect or the engineer. Judy scanning, this is most powerful thing what you can get in iPad, but you can get it only in new iPad which is 2020 Pro. So because this is a new iPad have including the LiDAR if you want to know more about the lidar and how you can use it and how you can scan it you can check my previous video i already did the overview so today i want to just say uh, you can easily get your ipad going to the site just scan some object or scan some room or scan some part of the object and send it for example to the architect and they can easily check is it right or not they can get the some dimensions they can get everything from that it's not point cloud laser scan so this is just a getting the data from the picture and distance between object and lidar so this is not a laser point scanning you, you cannot saying like it's a really one millimeter the right dimension no but Overall dimension is really perfect and don't forget this is device 10 times cheaper than laser scanner because the good laser scanner is cost really much. Anyway, 
You get your tablet, you're going to the site, you're just fastly scanning on any object which you want and send it anywhere. And after that you can check in, for example, by collision, by dimensions, everything. This is great app and great thing what you can get in iPad 2020. I hope right now you're really clear, do you need an iPad or no? Yes, this is expensive and not all of you need it in your world, really. Only you will know if you will try, of course. You will try, you will find it useful, really nice. You know, it's useless, you don't need it. Anyway, this thing can help you working really smart. Smart work, it means you can work from everywhere. Yes, I know you can have like laptop, netbooks, or even the phone, why not? But the iPad, it's on the middle. It's not even phone, but it's not PC yet. So it's like on the middle. Of course, it's like half on the one way and half on the another way. Maybe you can share with your own experience how you're using the iPad. Just leave the comments and share with us how you're using it, which apps you're using and how it can help in some profession. Why not? Leave the comment below and maybe even me, I will find some apps which using you really useful. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.